Hey everybody and welcome back to BK's Bullets. Today we're going to be doing an overview of the Avengers by Jonathan Hickman Collection, Volume 3. Hey everybody and welcome back to BK's Bullets. As always, I am your host Brent Cosina, here to do another overview of the Avengers, or Hickvengers, as I've tried to call in these little videos. This is volume three of the complete collections from Jonathan Hickman. Um, this is new. This just came out maybe last week or so. Uh, there's a volume four apparently on the way at the end of March. I already have it pre-ordered. But this might as well be labeled Infinity because that is what this is. This is the Infinity crossover that was contained within the Avengers and New Avengers books by Jonathan Hickman um, almost, well, I guess it was like 10 years ago. Um, you have stuff from the free comic book day issue in here. You have Infinity number zero in here and one through five, as well as the issues of New Avengers and Avengers that also crossed over with Infinity. Now, Infinity, I was interested to read uh, to go back and reread at one point in time, I haven't done it yet, uh, the five issues that came out because I was interested to see if you could just read all five issues and um, get the story. It is clear that it's not possible. So I don't know why that they did these extra five issues of Infinity when the crossover was really just that, a crossover. Um, so why they didn't expand it out is kind of weird. Also, it's hard to tell who drew Infinity. If you asked me, I couldn't tell you. Because these artists, uh, Jim Chung, uh, Lionel Francis Yu, Jerome Pena, um, who else is in here? This is uh, Jimmy Chung doing the beginning stuff. Steve Epting, uh, Mike Diodato Jr., Dustin Weaver. I guess Epting's not in this book particularly. He was probably catching up on the regular New Avengers issues. He had done all, every, you know, the first six before Dale stepped in, I think, before he ju started jumping ahead. But I couldn't tell you who drew Infinity number one. Uh, it says Jim Chung here. But two and five, Jerome Opinion, Dustin Weaver, six, Jimmy Chung again. So you have all these different artists. So it's not like um, some of the other events for Marvel, like Civil War, where you can say it's all um, Steve McNiven. Uh, you know, Planet Hulk is your know, World War Hulk is all John Romita Jr. is a mix of artists. So this mix of artists is mixed throughout this book. And I remember reading this book when it came out. I was getting all three of these series: Infinity, Avengers, and New Avengers, and reading them all in order. But I don't really remember what happens. I know it has to do with the Builders and it has to do with Thanos. And I thought it was a little wild that we kind of had these two dueling threats at the same time you had Thanos with the Black Order and this is where these guys come in so if you saw Infinity War you saw Proxima Midnight she didn't have quite as prominent a headdress as horns in the movie um, you also saw Ebony Ma who's the speaker guy at the beginning of Infinity War um, with the weird face you saw all of these little um, black aliens that invaded Wakanda these I forget what they're called but they're there, these guys here. Um, this guy, Corvus Glaive, you saw him. He was the leader. He's the leader of the Black Order. Uh, all these were concepts developed by Jonathan Hickman. So hopefully you got some money out of that billion dollar movie. Holy cow. Who knows, right? But this event has dual tag dual threats, because you got Thanos in the Black Order on one hand, and then you got the threat of the builders and all their ships which is where Sword comes in. Here's Abigail Brand and Lockjaw uh, fighting the Builders at the same time as Thanos dealing with the Inhumans. So what is Infinity about? I don't remember. <laughs> That's the bad part because it's this dueling antagonist here. Uh, here's Iron Man in his uh, Guardians of the Galaxy armor. He had joined Guardians at the time and had this weird like cosmic armor thing going on. Um... You had these guys, which are related to the Builders. I don't even remember their names. Uh, they sounded Latin, I think, at the time. Here's some scroll stuff. Beautiful, beautiful art. I can't remember a single thing about the story. And until the very end, I think they got rid of the Builder theory, uh, builder threat. Um, here's Captain Universe. Here's, here's one of the Builder guys. 
right? So that's going on at the same time as Thanos dealing with the Inhumans. And then at the very end, Thanos' son shows up. Here's that cosmic armor I was talking about. This is uh, Lionel Francis Yu. Very clean Francis Yu, in the, but you can look over here and tell that's, that's him over there for sure. Definitely Lionel Francis Yu. Um, trying to find the, his son. I think he shows up in the last issue here. Um, this girl didn't make it into the movies. I forget what her name was. I think she had a little bit of a controversial name, and they, they gave it to somebody else. The star brand is in here. That was introduced in one of the earlier volumes. Uh, here's his son. Thane, I think his name is. Thane, son of Thanos. Here's Hyperion and Corvus Glaive going at Proxima Midnight. I gotta say, I love Captain America's armor in this Avengers series. He got a bit of an armor upgrade here. And I think John Romita Jr. was drawing his solo series at the time with Rick Remender being the, uh, the writer. But I love this kind of armored look with the knee pads and the helmet with the chin strap. Like, this... I think is what the Avengers video game was going for and they missed the mark by a mile because they just put him in a flak jacket whereas it should have looked like this. Um, I really love this cap costume and this iteration of it because it's the mix of the Ultimates functional and the classic Marvel superhero stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the book. And then here's some more setup for what is coming in New Avengers. And event, New Avengers or Avengers Time Runs Out, which is the end of those two ish runs, which then leads into the Secret Wars um, big event there. So that is what's coming. What's nice about this book, though, just like all the other Hickman books, it does tell the story with these chapters, with these white pages. So it doesn't really tell you this is New Avengers number what's his face or Avengers what or or Infinity number four. It's just chapter homecoming. And I remember reading these books. Um, obviously, this switches from an I don't know. That is it happened at the beginning of books and in the middle of books when you're reading the single issues like you would have the title page infinity here's the credits and then you would have a title and then you would read three pages and you'd have another title page so all that stuff is cut in here the way hickman wanted you to read it so i i don't think you're reading a whole issue of new avengers i think you're jumping back and forth i could be wrong uh now that infinity is here i believe i can start reading uh, volume one, two, and three, because I think it's it's kind of like a big arc from volume one to volume three here, uh, and then it kind of siphons off to its own little thing until you get to the end of his run and the uh, time runs out crossover and Secret Wars. But you have some variant covers back here, some designs by Jerome Pena. This is Black Dwarf. I think they gave him a different name. Ebony Maw. There he is. Um, Super Giant, yeah, she didn't make it into the, um, I think that's what they called Black Dwarf in the movie. Even though they never called him by name, I think he was called Super Giant because he's a, like, not a literal giant, but he's a big dude. I think they switched his name with this one. Um, she didn't look like a Black Dwarf, I guess, so she didn't make it in the movie, but everyone else did. So maybe she did make it in the movie if they took her name, right? <laughs> But yeah, I love these designs. The fact that they made it into the Infinity War because they work as such good henchmen for Thanos right now was a really cool thing. And, you know, they probably started developing that Infinity War movie, uh, you know. I, I'm sure it was in somebody's head when this comics came out. But, you know, a couple years later, to, for a concept artist to start drawing these comics new comics characters as designs for the movie, uh, it's really fast. Here's Thane. Uh, he's a bit younger when Jimmy Chung draws him, but isn't everybody young when Jimmy Chung draws him? So, here's some John Cassidy covers when John Cassidy could still draw, in my opinion. I think he's gotten a little lazy, a little sloppy. His proportions seem off whenever he does. Here's some Lego covers. John Cassidy. So, yeah, this is a big, thick book. Like, you know, you're going to get some gutter loss in here. That is for sure. Luckily, I don't think there are that many two-page spreads. Deodato, awesome Deodato, I love that um, 
Marvel 90s stuff. So, look at this cast of characters, though. This is crazy. The Builders, X-Men, Galactic Council, Shi'ar, the Illuminati, the Avengers, Inhumans, Guardians of the Galaxy. Craziness. Holy cow. X Nilio, that's what that yellow guy is called. But yeah, so how many issues are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who knows? It's a whole lot, man. A whole lot. I don't know why they don't say like infinity number zero in here or the uh I thought there was an infinity zero. Am I crazy? Eh, maybe I'm crazy. <clears throat> but yeah, this is a big thick book. But it's got the entire event in here. I think you could read it. It goes for $45. Holy cow. There you go. For a soft cover. That's a that's a thick book right there. <clears throat> so yeah, that's our look at Avengers by Jonathan Hickman Complete Collection Volume 3. So like I said, I know there's a Volume 4 coming out that I think does the next, you know, 12 issues up between Avengers and New Avengers, something like that. And there's probably a fifth one after that. I was looking at the... Um, the issues on Comixology, trying to figure out if there was a fifth one before the Time Runs Out stuff starts. Um, so I don't know if they're going to go... I hope they go all the way through, and I don't know if they're going to go collect Secret Wars in this collection or just stop when Avengers and New Avengers stop. Um, who knows? But these are a nice way to read them, that's for sure. So... Let me know what you guys think of Jonathan Hickman's run on Avengers down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Helps the channel grow. And we will see you guys next time in the Funny Pages.